In Anambra State, in Niger Southeast, where the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has presented the certificate of return to the winner of the November the 6th and 9th governorship election, Professor Chukuma Suludu, and his deputy, Dr. Onyeka Ibezim, at the state headquarters of INEC in Oka, Anambra State. Now, the INEC National Commissioner, Mr. Festus Okoye, presented the certificate to the APCA candidate in the presence of other stakeholders, including supporters of the ruling All Progressive Grand Alliance, APCA. Professor Soludo dedicated the victory to the people of the state. I want to commend INEC, a brother, the, we'll see you on television each time, reassuring us about the result of INEC to do this job. We believe, we trust him. But personally, I trust as person. I believe in our institutions. Having myself headed one of the I would say most complex institutions in Nigeria. I believe design processes are sorted through. I believe. Even when people say they were impossible, I run institutions and delivered on our agenda in terms of execution. Those things that Nigerians and people said were impossible. And so when I see INEC deliver on the things that many people said were not going to happen, I understand fully. So I mean, I fully appreciate that and understand what you guys have to do. And let me put on record that I think it was in my democracy day lecture in 2005 that I did pursue a thesis that a sound, credible, and elect transparent electoral system was foundational to having an uh, accountable and responsive and developmental state. Because unless the elected, the people who govern, that happen to be a product of a transparent electoral system, come from a mandate freely and willingly given to them by the people, they cannot be accountable to the people. And I want to put on record that I believe that I know Particularly under this leadership, I think I then have been incrementally getting better and better and better and better. And I want to say that under this leadership, I want to believe that the technology that you have deployed, BVAS, is the technology. We need that. I understand the logic of it. Yes, there were glitches during the election. Initially, I was at my polling booth for six hours. I arrived at 11 30 and I left 5 30. I insisted I must not, I wasn't going to drop the queue. I was going to stay there and see it work. And as a believer in, in, in processes, I believed that in the end, it must come through because I understood the logic of it. And finally, it came through. Yes, as you rightly said, with some refinements in that, because we want to see a day where you don't even need to go through the collection places. Where from the uh, polling booth, when you have this, this uh, collection is finished and there is all, somebody can see it instantly at the close of uh, voting and counting. So as you keep on refining that process, the technology itself, improve on the technical competence and skills of the operators of the machines. Um, I think they require quite a lot more training and continuous training and refinement. And so you will have a, a set of them who will now you know, move and be, they don't need to be coming in the IT, the technical staff every now and again to come and uh, fix and repair. With active collaboration with the uh, telco, the tele uh, telephone uh, companies uh, to make the transmissions and even if you need to download an app, make it easier for the days of the particular day of the election. And I would like to also say continue collaboration with the security agencies. And yes, I believe that with these refinements, as we go, we will get to that point. And this is my dream for Nigeria. 
I will wish that we get to that day when somebody running for election does not need to know any person in the electoral commission. Don't need to know anybody. Don't need to know a policeman. Don't need to know a soldier. Don't need to know a DSS. Just go to the people, conduct an election, and you walk in and take your certificate of return and go. That will be the day Nigeria will have that electoral that is my dream for this country. That's my dream for this country.